Few years ago, the M113 was replaced by the LAV, but the lack of track vehicles became a big concern in the event of future needs. The Army decided to upgrade the good old M113, and a driver course took place in CFB Valcarti. Sergeant Cédric Amel has this report showing the new version of the M113. Everybody can have a second chance. Is it the same thing for vehicles? Apparently, yes. Without it was a rumor, it's not anymore. This is the new version of the APC M113. The comparison that I can make is that when we move from the old Grizzlies to the, to the LAV 3s, it's basically the same difference. We got more technology and more horsepower. It's, it's perfect for us for now. The guy is going to like that one more than the old one due to the main factor that we have more horsepower and more maneuverability than the old one. And uh, we can put more armor on it than uh, like a bison. So it's going to be better for us overseas. There are actually six major points that are different from the A2 from the A3. First of all, there's the power pack. That means transmission, the drivetrain and everything. And second is the suspension. There's the fuel system. There's the driver uh, habitat. There's the armor that's adding on to the vehicle. And last off, there's the final drive. It's actually, it's the same engine. It's at the same cylinder. It's still a Detroit Diesel 6V53. But instead of uh, the, the N that was on the A2, it's a T now, which means by turbo. There's a turbo on that one. That motor can uh, develop to 300 to 400 horsepower. Well, the newest thing that you're actually going to see when you enter the vehicle is the steering column. It's not the same at all. The, those O's lateral telebar that we used to call on the A2 is not there anymore, so it's more reliable. It's like a, driving your own car, because when you're turning at left, you're, out, you're actually slowing the left track, and it's, and it's quite easier to operate, and it's better controls. The old heater at the right, we don't have anymore, and uh, but it's basically the same with the same seat cushion. Some little thing details like the battery box are not in the same place. It is actually smoother, the new suspension, but the thing is with the more horsepower in the motor, the vehicles can go quite faster. So by going faster, it's a lot noisy to track. So, If you want to know who will use these vehicles, the only thing I can say right now is this vehicle will be on a mission soon. For more on that, stay tuned. For Army News, I'm Sergeant Cédric Amel, Valcartier.